Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. Well, all right, five, Gail Greenwood. Um, what would you say is your favorite, or like, is or was your favorite Rhode Island record store? I think it was In Your Ear. Yeah. Up on Thayer Street. Mm-hmm. I was always intimidated to go in there. Um, actually, Dennis Dennis Kelly worked there, who is in The Worried. And uh, yeah. I know he was a big man on campus when I went to RISD. He was in the Yeah Boys, and he still is a big man on campus. And I remember always being slightly intimidated going into a record store. Um, cause just the coolest people were in there and I wasn't always, I was never cool. Let's put it that way. Yeah, but, yeah. um, they, they had everything. They were just great. Yeah. So I would say in your ear. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great to see that they're still anchored and, uh, and worn now and keeping that going. But, uh, I know. yeah, I remember Isn't going into, uh, into the one up there. Yeah. And I'm blanking on his name as well. Was it Dennis? But, uh, De- did Dennis, Dennis work there? It was, no, it was the, um, the singer of the the Royal Crowns work. Oh, there. Jason. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no So, yeah, talking way. about Jason I was like Kendall. walking in there. Yeah, and I walked in. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, that is the guy. <laughs> exactly. I want to buy, and there. I was like, it, I didn't want to buy, like, shitty records because I thought he was going to judge me. <laughs> Thank you. You absolutely understand so, what I so was, was like, trying to go. say. I hope that you think this is cool, and I think I yeah. bought a spinal tap record because i just I, didn't really, I guess i didn't really care it was like i just really want this spinal tap record and i bought it I was like, yeah, I, this is sweet you buying spinal tap yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah yeah so yeah see that's exactly right dennis kelly jason kendall like rock stars work at this record store so you yeah. really cannot be a dweeb cool yeah. uh what would you say is your favorite rhode island drink oh my god I don't know if it's from Rhode Island though, but I'm addicted to polar seltzer. Ah, but I think it's Worcester. Yeah, it's it's based out of Worcester, but I don't know. I'm from Worcester, so. I can't. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we got to give polar seltzer a plug because you can buy it really cheap at John Lot. Yeah. So we, Jill and I, are addicted to polar seltzer, yeah. and we call it party soda. It has no sugar in it, and it has nothing to do with a party, but it's just like a specially, a special bubble drink. Yeah, no, yeah, I would say. Seltzer, uh, do you? Orson. Yeah, yeah. I'm What's that? Fan. Orson is their mascot bear. How do so I not know this? Uh, I think that they might have changed it, but when I was growing up, like their factory is off a of 290. Yes. So they have this big you can inflatable, see it from... it's probably like a 30 or 40 foot inflatable bear that was like the coolest thing to me when I was a, a kid driving by. I would always like look out the window for it. And even like the couple, like when I bring my kids up there, I'm like, check it out. It's Orson, you know? And that's, but that's the, the bear thing. I think they must have, <laughs> I, have a new, no I don't know idea. if it's inflatable anymore. Orson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I can ask chill if he knows Orson. I'm going to give him the trivia question. All right. Yeah. And it's the name of the Polo <laughs> yeah. Seltzer bear. Yeah. yeah. We'll, <laughs> I we'll should have, a... We were trying to come up with a name for this dog. We should have named you Orson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, That's Chelsea a good name. hasn't really stuck yet. You want to be Orson? Okay. Right. <laughs> Orson, you shall be. <laughs> That's cool. Um, what is your favorite place in Rhode Island? It could be a, you know, a city, a town, a. Oh my God, I would I would have to say, um, Wilbur Woods in Little Compton. Oh yeah, I would say. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little place. Um, it's only about quarter of a mile from our house right here, but it's um, really great native history, and um, it's a really a special spiritual place. It's um, a female sachem, Queen of Washunk, which is yep. a. Um, that she was the sachem and that's her supposedly that was the, where their summer camp was. So that's kind of neat. So, um, and there's a tribute to her. You used to be able to drive in there. It was like a, you could drive and it was nice when my parents, um, 
my, both my parents had dementia. So we would, I would put them in the car and take them for a drive. And it was like a way to go through the woods. It was very strange. You could drive through the woods and enjoy nature, but they couldn't walk. So it was, but it was a perfect way. We just rolled wow. down the windows. So um, the bridge is out now. So you can't, you can't um, drive in there anymore, but it's, it's nice for walking. And mm -hmm. we take the dogs in there. That's fantastic. So I would say I would say Wilbur Woods in Little Compton is probably my favorite place in Rhode Island. Perfect. That sounds yeah. <laughs> Want to check that out? I like the, I like the beach too for surfing, but um, I that's communing with nature would be is Wilbur Woods. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know that you've done a lot of stuff with land conservation as well. Correct? Is that um, yes? Something that's. Uh, yeah, in smart. Middletown. Yeah, yeah, in Middletown. Yeah, smart growth. Really, uh, it's it's a losing battle, unfortunately, right now. I don't know if you've been to lit. I don't know if you've been to Middletown recently, but it's so built up. Yeah, it's just uh, we we were actually Greenwood Associates is doing. There's a land trust here in Little Compton that they just um, um, preserved a parcel of land, so we're doing all the signage for the nature trails and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So. That's neat. I mean, I wasn't able to save Middletown, but maybe I can have some um, positive impact on the land here in Little Compton. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, what is your favorite Rhode Island pizza? Uh, it's got to be Nice Slice. Yeah. Have you been to Nice Slice yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I would say nice slice. It used to be Fellini's, but now a nice slice is the best. Cool. Uh, Belly, Belly had a listening party um, for Dove at Pop. Um, oh, yeah. At, uh, Darren Hill's Darren's place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know Darren? I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, so we had our listening party there with a the record. We debuted it and about 100 people came um, and they bought tickets to go. And Nice Slice catered it. And they cool. were so great. They had... <laughs> I mean, we had so many special requests, gluten-free, vegan. They had it, er, everything yep. for everybody. People loved it. And they were just so awesome. They did the best. And last one. Uh, what would you say is your favorite Rhode Island event? <gasps> the Rhode Island Air National Guard Air Show. Oh, yeah. At Quonset. The yeah. air show, my family has been going to the air show since we were little kids. That's why my brother is a pilot to this day. Um, yeah. And I, we, they didn't have it last summer, obviously. And for some reason they didn't have it the summer before, but you know, it's a Rhode Island event when, well, first of all, anything that's free in Rhode Island is going to be packed, yeah. but it is just so exciting and so great i ride my bike to it chill and i ride our bikes to it we get friends to ride our bikes so that we park way outside and we ride in and cool. half the fun is just riding by the old hangers um mm -hmm. we love airplanes my dad was a mechanic on the p-47 in world war ii the oh, flying okay. jug so we um love old world war ii planes but um we love the new stuff too we just love the jet trucks <laughs> have you mm -hmm. seen the jet truck you got to yeah, take the one that the like it's uh, got like a rocket engine on the back of it. Yes. Yeah. And it's yeah. and it's really great to go with my brother because my brother's really knowledgeable about every engine and also yeah. all the all the historic aircraft too. Like he can tell you everything about you know that's a Merlin, that's a General oh, okay. Electric, that's a you know, yeah. uh, oh my god! So it's so fun to go with him. But um, and like we, I don't know. Have you taken your kids yet? I did, and it oh, was they're actually too like they were yes, but to the point of like I wish that someone told me not to take my kids to this because <laughs> it was yes. like uh, a traumatic <laughs> experience, uh, and oh. it was like at least it felt better because there was like we took the train in, and there, you know their time, so we went in. Oh, you then, did the train, yeah. Um, it was. I mean, it was fine, but just it was just like way too much for yes. Garrison, who's my older son and um then we just were hanging out with all of the other families that were there <laughs> that were like that was way too loud right or that was like you know because it was like i mean the aftershocks it was just like rattling everyone's rib cages and stuff and it can be cool but it's hard to like 
protect yeah. your child in any way from yeah. Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. You know so uh, I know, honestly. Yeah. I mean, like, I like love the chest like, oh. rattling part of it. But yeah, if you have a kid, I know. We went to Miramar. We went to an air show at Miramar. And my nephew was only um, two years old. And my sister-in-law, you know, she's her husband is a pilot. You know, when the Thunderbirds come and do that sneak attack flyover, she yeah. literally dove on top of her child. I mean, you really feel like you didn't know what's coming. You have to protect your kids. You're literally in fight yeah. or flight. So you're yeah. going to try to protect them from sonic blasts. Yeah. It sounds like a trap now flying you know? debris. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, so it's not very relaxing for a dad. Yeah. I did go one year with a friend of mine and he took his two little kids and it was just like he said the same thing. He's like, this is for daddy to come to alone and to enjoy. It's, it's yeah. too much but it's for like, the kids. Oh, they, they really love planes. They want to look at them and stuff like yeah. that. So. But it's a long day. Yeah. Yeah. It's too long. Right? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah it seems like it goes like all. Yeah, it is all day. And it's yeah. go, and then if you have to wait for the train too, like that, you're there for a long time waiting yeah. to get on the, yeah. that's I why like next idea, time. Biking in, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Park it like um, Dave's marketplace, put your cool. bikes in the back. Well, of course they probably won't have it this summer because of COVID, but, um, and then you ride your bikes and it's a really nice bike ride. It's a nice wide lane for bikes. It's super safe. Um, and you can see the air show as you're driving into a uh, riding into it's nice. Yeah. And then you can leave when you want. You don't have to wait for it. Yeah. 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 Usually there's a line to wait for the school bus or the train or something like that. Yeah. That gets, that gets old. Or just crazy traffic to get in there. Out of oh yeah. The traffic is ridiculous. That's why it's so much fun to blast by everybody on a bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Thank you. Well, yeah. thank you, James. Thank you.